Hi everyone. In today's topic, I will explain you a geometric transformations and with the example of translation and rotation. Now, geometric transformations are very essential for the computer graphics that uh, whenever you are drawing any kind of uh, geometric uh, model in AutoCAD, Creo or any other softwares that time computer needs to do some kind of calculations which is known as a node calculations or you can say a coordinate calculations so if you are telling it to the draw the triangle so it is calculating that what is the complete size of my uh, screen and then accordingly it put and place those points there so here uh, in the CAD subject you need to uh, perform some numericals regarding this uh, steps to do a geometric transformation. So I will show you the some of the example of it. First uh, let me show you some uh, short uh, example or, or explanation regarding geometric transformation. So there are some certain cases which I would like to show you. First is translation. So translation means that whenever you are drawing any kind of object that object needs to be shuffled at some space so let's say this this needs to be shuffled at 5 cm in this direction so this is or this operation is known as a translation okay in terms of computer language the coordinates are getting changed but the points locations are not getting changed so this is a so the new triangle is a dash b dash and c dash right second rotation Rotation means that you need to rotate this triangle in certain degree or certain amount. So here we are rotating this triangle at 90 degree by picking up this point, right? This point is fixed, let's say, and it is getting rotated at 90 degrees. So this is the another operation, rotation operation, scaling operation. Scaling operation means that the what is the actual size? Is this size is let's say 1 gem 1. So I want that 1 gem 2. So that means that it will be a half half of total size, right? So this uh, this is called as the scaling operation scaling operation also and then after reflection and mirror so reflection and mirror is nothing that if I draw a, a mirror in between this then it will be a complete reflection you can see that B is here so it get reflected at this side and A went here and C remains here because this is a reflection right now so this is the another case and the uh, fifth case is the shear shear means the elongation in x direction or y direction right so here you can see this rectangle got stretched in this manner why because the uh, deformation occurred in the y direction so that's why it looks like this but the values remains here same right so these are the five cases for the uh, geometric transformations now let's uh, take an example of this uh, composite transformation right so now let me explain you what is the composite transformation composite transformation means that you are you're going to perform a multiple steps okay multiple operations on the one element so simply you can say that uh, if i have one triangle and i want to rotate it at 30 degrees Celsius, uh, sorry 30 degree angle so if i want to rotate this triangle at 30 degree so what first i need to do first step i have to bring this triangle at origin so from here to here i will bring this triangle so that is called as a translation right now at this condition at origin i will rotate my triangle like this so it is at 30 degree right so that is the second step first step is translation bring to origin then uh, rotation and then third step bring it back as as it is so i am bringing it back in this direction right this is the third step right and this is called as an inverse translation so you can see that the steps standard steps which are followed is translation given operation rotation inverse translation so first i will translate to the origin i will give the operation uh, that means scaling mirror whatever then if rotation is asked i will rotate it also and then bring it back to original condition so here it is the standard equation for it p is the main point t translation translation in x translation in y right then rotation this is the rotation matrix it is the rotation matrix for counterclockwise and t inverse is the again bring it back so you just notice it t and t inverse is nothing just a negative signs in front of each other right okay let's say that uh, let's have an example of it 
for the scaling numerical okay so the uh, numerical i'll just uh, zoom it out little bit for you for your complete understandings so numerical is that a triangle abc with the vertices at 1 1 b is 6 1 and c is 3 4 right so some kind of triangle they have given and they are saying that you need to translate it to 4 and 2 units in x and y and rotate at 30 degree so uh, there is some kind of triangle having a a b and c and they says that you have to translate this abc to somehow at this abc that is 4 in x and 2 in y right and after translation they are saying that you rotate this at 30 degree okay so our first step will be here that we will translate this and then we will rotate it okay so let's see uh, given data a11 b61 c34 okay so now first step 4 and 2 translation so what i have did tx is equal to 4 and ty is equal to 2 tx is equal to what tx means the translation in x unit okay and ty means translation in two units y direction so the new coordinate of this one abc will be the original coordinate multiplied by translation matrix so let's see that how i have made this translation matrix delta abc that is triangle abc so what i have done the one one is representing a point six one is representing b point and three four is representing c point the remaining will be called as a one okay and the product you will be with the translation matrix this is the standard matrix one zero zero you can see adjacent one will be there and the last row you need to put it here that four and two so in x direction four which tx and y direction two right so this will be the translation matrix and after solving this matrix right how we can solve this matrix simply multiplication between this i'll multiply it by this in addition to this okay then i will multiply this with in addition this and this so by getting the answer i'll get as a five similarly three and one you can see another videos also that how to do a multiplication of the uh, three cross three matrix okay fine so this is the final answer 5 3 1 10 3 1 and 7 6 1 so what it is it is a new coordinates for my translated triangle so this coordinates are here which 5 3 this is 5 and 3 10 3 so this will be the 10 3 for me and 7 6 so this will be the 7 6 so this is the simple answer that if i uh, move my triangle 4 and 2 units in respectively x and y then the new coordinates will be the a dash 5 and 3 b dash 10 and 3 10 and 3 here and c dash 7 and 6 okay so that was the first requirement second requirement is to rotate at 30 degree so second requirement will complete it so now for that you need to understand the standard equation for it so for rotation there is a standard equation which is clockwise rotation you need to write as cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta this is the standard equation for clockwise rotation if it is a counterclockwise rotation then cos theta sin theta negative sin theta and cos theta so you can notice it that the clockwise rotation is having a minus sin theta sign at the first row and counterclockwise at the lower row second row in the first column right so you can memorize that according to it so now we need to rotate it but who whom we need to rotate this one the last triangle not the first triangle okay we want to rotate this one so for that what we'll do hence there will be a counterclockwise matrix so we'll use this matrix here so what the value is given 30 degrees value here so theta 33 so first i will calculate the what is the sine 30 0 0.5 and if i put cos 30 then 0 0.86 right and their uh, condition was that in the numerical the one condition was that it is their rotation of 30 degree in counterclockwise direction about a new position of c point right so we are interested to rotate our triangle around this point c point so this will be the 7 and 6 which i have listed here 7 and 6 right 
okay so our new triangle will be delta a double dash b double dash and c double dash right the answer was of the previous triangle is delta a dash b dash c dash okay triangle then first step translation okay as i said you bring to origin so we are bringing to origin then we are rotating in counterclockwise at 30 degree okay and then after counterclockwise I, we will move it back again to its original condition from the origin okay so these are the steps if you don't understand then you just follow these steps which i have said you earlier translation given the operation rotation and inverse translation these four steps are god steps here you follow it and you can solve it to numerical very easily okay so let's move on uh, we were here mm, yeah so now this delta a dash b dash c dash is listed here a dash means 5 3 which value we got previously here 5 and 3 10 and 3 and 7 and 6 so these are these values 5 3 10 and 3 7 and 6 okay and the respective column will be 1 1 1 so that is the delta abc now translation so for translation we all know adjacent should be 1 0 0 0 everything tx and ty now you will ask that from where i got this is this values they if they say that you rotate you need to rotate about c then it needs to be a 7 and 6 right so we will put minus 7 and minus 6 right and this will be the translation because we want to bring it on the origin next one so next is the rotation so rotation matrix of counterclockwise counterclockwise equation is cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta and these values are getting replaced with here 0.5 and 0.86 okay so cos theta cos 30 is 0.86 so this will be 0.86 sin 30 0.5 minus sin 30 minus 0.5 and cos theta 0.86 so you can see here see, 0 0.86 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 0 0.86 and now remaining columns and rows will be with 0 and adjacent value will be 1 every time you need to put adjacent value as 1 and another use as a 0 okay so this is the about uh, rotation matrix now translation inverse which is inverse of this so if you are putting a minus sign here in this case you have to place a positive sign here nothing else so you can see that 1 0 0 0 1 0 which is adjacent should be a 0 and 7 and 6 which we have placed here you have to just replace its negative signature okay so now to solve this what i'll do i'll zoom it out and see to solve this first i am focusing on this i am solving this matrix here okay and you might be knowing that how to solve this matrix multiplication of this with this this and this this will give you answer to here so the final answer i am getting for multiplication of this and this matrix is here okay now similarly same matrix i am putting it downside now next here now i am multiplying this matrix with this one so this will give me the answer so here is the uh, product value of this board you can just pose the value and you can just check it out that how it is done and you can watch another videos there that you can see that how to solve the matrices okay so this is the value now the next one we will multiply it with this one so this matrix and this one so finally we will get this as an answer so this is the final answer that when we are rotating our triangle at 30 degree and about the point c dash which is the new point of previous triangle so the answer should be a is equal to 2.80 5.08 so this will be a point for triangle right then next one 7.10 and 7.85 so let's say this is a c point for us this is a and this is the b so this is the b point here 7.10 and it is and c point 3.02 8.66 so this is 3.02 and 8.66 so this is the second answer what they want required so in this numerical we have justified that two requirements first translation at 4 and 2 and rotation at 30 degree right so uh, in this numerical we have understood all the concept and phenomena and what is the counterclockwise and clockwise equations regarding it so in this uh, till now this topic that's all 
in next topic we will understand the another methods for the geometric translation and rotation or geometric transformation till that goodbye